Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Until, uh, well, we hope we keep going from now until midnight Eastern time. Uh, listen, uh, last night we, he, uh, let me, uh, before I go into our interview for tonight, uh, let me explain what went on last night. Um, it seems as though uh, Skype forced me to go to their new Skype. And we went on the air and we figured we had at least part of it figured out how to get the picture out there. Well, that didn't even work right. But uh, uh, the idea was to try and figure out how in this new thing you could create a citizen panel. And once I figured out how to create a citizen panel, all I could get was one picture <laughs> on the screen. At a t it was a clusterfuck. And it's because Skype, these motherfucking cocksuckers, and I call them that, and I'm saying that to be nice, all right? decided that they were going to force everybody to go to this new system, which is vastly inferior to the old one. Uh, I don't know how, well, it's Microsoft. What more can I say, okay? It's Microsoft. Anyway, um, today I did a little research and a few things and so on, and I think we solved the problem. I think I was able to roll back to the old system, but we'll... I know I've rolled back to the old system. Let's just hope it works like the old system did, okay? I'll explain that just a little bit later. But yesterday, uh, we did an interview with uh, my ex-wife, uh, Ronnie. And uh, I, I had to do it at the last moment because I just found out that I couldn't use the old, the, the old Skype in order to do it. And so I called her, and we did the interview. And it looked fine. Uh, I'm at a different angle than this, okay? I'm sitting over at this other computer. And uh, she's out of sync throughout most of the thing. And that's the problem with me using the Mac. Somehow Skype doesn't work as well on the Mac as it works on a Windows machine, because who makes Windows? Microsoft. Who owns Skype? Microsoft. Uh, anyway, so let's go to that interview with Ronnie, and then I'll see you on the other side of that, and we'll see if this whole thing works tonight, and we can just do a regular old citizen panel without uh, any problems. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing that lovely fedora. You like my hat? <laughs> yes. Uh, this one's got more feathers on it than the last one. Yeah. Uh, okay. And how many of those hats, I mean, you had these hats before you had the chemotherapy, oh, yes. right? Yes. So uh, how many hats did you I'm have? 40 or 50 hats. Really? Yes. So we can look forward to, at least for the next year, not having you in the same hat every year, every, every week. I remember week. what I wore the week or two before. That's a problem, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Anyway, how you doing? I'm doing fine. It's a... It's not rainy. It's just a gray day here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, we're talking to her in Lake Oswego, um, Oregon. And uh, uh, she, uh, she, she is a, an old lady uh, uh, and, and getting older, thank goodness. Uh, and, and she has... In, in my condition, getting older is a very good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> We, we've mentioned this before, and we've talked about this before, uh, and that is that uh, you have uh, a, a terminal bout of cancer. I, I don't know if we call it a terminal. <laughs> I call it my predicament. Your predicament. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, I have predicament, yes. You know, and, and uh, uh, you seem to be, can I say this, and maybe you correct me on it, you seem to be looking at this as an adventure. Hmm. 
Well, to a degree. What I, I, I'm not so sure adventurous since I'm not very adventurous, but I've written about the fact that I'm just... You know, what happens to a person when they're told they're going to die in a relatively short period of time? I don't know how long that period is. Yeah. Everybody gives me, of the professionals, they give me a different time time period. Um, apparently less than a year, but more than a few months. So, you know, there you go. Yeah. Whatever it will be. But I spend a lot of time, because I'm, I'm curious how your life changes when you're told this, that you are going to die in a relatively short period of time and nobody and there's nothing anybody can do about it so that I kind of put my consciousness or part of my consciousness mm -hmm. over here sometimes and just watch what I'm doing and how it may or may not have changed what I do day to day and in that sense it's an adventure I mean it's only one person I think we all go through this as the people who do each in our own way uh, and there's no right way there's no wrong way um, in my case, I'm kind of studying me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, I, I want to tell people that we're a little out of sync here because we're having to use a different system today. And uh, she's a little bit out of sync, and it has to do with the way I've got this thing set up. And I haven't got it set up perfectly yet, so I'm sorry for that. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know something? I hate to gripe about this, but fuck Skype. Are you going to do it again? <laughs> fuck Skype. God, I hate them. No, I may stop this whole thing because I don't have the equipment to be able to do it with. You know, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, where, where were we? Um, so My adventure that's kind of a, you know, I'm studying myself. <laughs> well, you're kind of turning it into an adventure, into a journey. And I yes, think that's yeah. probably the best way to handle it, you know? Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm writing something that I'll post on Friday um, about you know, people talk about fighting cancer all the time. Yeah. Um, and, and as soon as you're diagnosed, you'll start hearing that phrase, I'm going to beat this, I'm fighting this. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, I, it, it's... You can't punch it in the nose and all of that stuff. Is, is it a, a vigilance that's maybe supposed to keep uh, the cancer from growing or something? Um, I just don't know what it means to fight, and I would rather live than fight. Fighting is exhausting, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't want to spend my time working that hard. I want to spend it talking with you and a bunch of other friends and, you know, doing what I do that I like to do. Um, and fighting cancer, the, the fighting, if, if you could call it that, the fighting is to keep my weight up so I don't become frail. Mm -hmm. um, and that's difficult, you know. I, when I was young, I used to mock the tall, skinny women who complained about having to eat so much to keep their weight up. Yeah, yeah, try to lose weight, honey. Um, now I see their problem, you know. <laughs> um, and... And I, I want to spend this time doing things I like to do. Right. So, um, I and fighting cancer just sounds way too tiring for me. Yeah. Um, so, so your day to day is you, you have to do the chemo every couple of weeks, two right? Weeks. Every two weeks, and uh, that knocks you out for what a couple of days. Well, it's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. This time, I also besides having a day long chemo. I wear a body pump for two more days that puts more chemo in me when I come home that day. Oh, that's homework. <laughs> yes, my <laughs> homework, exactly. And um, and then it's, you know, I was kind of tired the day after they unhooked me this time. Yeah. Um, and, I'm, and I'm tired today. It was last Thursday that I had it. Yeah. And I'm tired today, which is Tuesday that we're talking. Um, but I, you know what happened? This is only the third time I've had it. The first time I had it, after two days of feeling good afterwards, I was just as tired. I, fatigue was the right word. There was I'd never felt so tired almost. Right. Then last time that didn't happen to me. And now I'm waiting to see if it's going to happen this time. Today I feel a little spacey in the head, which is what usually referred to as chemo brain. Mm -hmm. 
um, and uh, and we'll see how I feel tomorrow. But it's been very unpredictable. Mostly, I've been incredibly lucky. There's something about this long of uh, the amount of the number of side effects that there can be. Nobody has all of them, but I've had mostly is fatigue is mm-hmm. is the one that I've had, and not much nothing else that's awful. So I'm terribly lucky so far. Wow. Well, it's good. It's good. So uh, uh, are you are you pretty well keeping up the uh, the uh, blog? Yeah. Yeah. I, I publish every day that I want to. Yeah. yeah. And how hard is that to do with the chemo brain? Hard, hard during chemo brain. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I mean, what I'm going to do is what we're recording today is what I will post tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Because I couldn't do too much yesterday, but I was really tired. Right. Um, and today too. So I'll post this tomorrow, and that's an easy way out. I can just do a couple of sentences, you know, intro. Right. And people can watch or not, depending on how they feel. And then I'm I'm in the middle of writing a real one for Friday. I don't publish on Thursday, and of course, collecting all the cool stuff for interesting stuff on Saturday. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. So you're keeping <laughs> yourself busy. Oh God, yes. I mean, I'm so far behind. I'll. I mean, quite. I, I'm not. I'm not fooling around when I say mm-hmm. I'll die before I finish everything. Well, we maybe we all will. You know. I mean, <laughs> that very good point. I like that. <laughs> you know. I mean, the thing. I'll tell you. I. Um, I. Well, how can I put it? I've been. I've been somewhat depressed lately. Oh well. What's new, Alex? Yes, yeah, right. I've been. Uh, I, I've been. I've been somewhat. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, the word I'm looking for. Yeah, they're depressed uh, because I'm just the general health thing all the way around gets to me. You know, I can only imagine. I can only imagine with you. Okay. No, I want to talk about that. I'd always, always said that long before I got cancer, I never wanted to be a professional patient. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Last week I was at the medical center mm-hmm. four days out of seven. Four days out of seven. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's not how I want to spend my time any more than I want to spend it fighting cancer. Mm-hmm. But one of the things, even if you don't have something that's going to kill you like I do, the cancer, mm-hmm. um, when we get old, they medicalized old age. Right. That we spend all our time doing health things for ourselves or doctors telling us what to do for ourselves. And I wonder... I wonder how much of that is necessary that that we come to be defined by our health, and it's perfectly normal that the older you get, a body is going to run down in different ways, even before you get anywhere near a serious disease that might kill you. Mm-hmm. Just things run down, but shouldn't we be thinking about or concentrating on ways to manage that as people get older, as opposed to making it a disease with a name. They keep giving all this stuff names and and thinking up new drugs for them. That it's perfectly normal that we're going to walk slower, that we might have balance problems, that we our joints might hurt. I mean, the things that happen to a lot of people that won't kill you, they turn them into medical problems. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's necessary, necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I don't like being identified only by my health. Uh, there's a, I've been here for 77 years. There's a lot more to me mm-hmm. yeah. than, than what my health is currently. Yeah, but I, uh, the thing I guess that's, that's, that's depressing me is, uh, um, you know, I mean, I, I went to the doctor and there's this whole thing with the prostate and it's not, they told me I'll live to be 95 with it. It's not uh, something that's going to kill me. But it all of a sudden, I'm getting to see the fragility of my of myself, you know. Oh, and, and, that's, and, talk about that. And also the 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 fact that how do I put this? Uh, that the doctor says to me, "Hey, something else will kill you first. and I'm going, "Oh, that's wonderful, you know. I I can only hope that it's something else that kills me first. I mean, what are we making a bet here? I mean, is there are there odds on this deal? You know, I, I just don't, I, I don't get it. That's, you know? a, that's a whistling past the graveyard type of phrase. Yeah. 
Um, it's uh, but but I was really interested in what you you said about feeling not frailty. What was the word you used? Uh, mm, uh, 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 well, I I I, I what's the word? I, what was the word I used? I forget now. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's one of the problems of old age. Yeah. Um, but uh, but but feeling not as sure of your health. Right. As when right. Young. Well, I mean, for instance, uh, uh, in the old days, I get a cold. I got a cold. That was it. Now the cold These lingers. Days, you know. I don't get them very often, but when I the rare occasions I've had a cold in my old age, it's like getting the flu when I was twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. And this was just a cold that I had recently, and and then they give you medicine for various things, and the medicine knocks you out. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. taking a thing. Uh, call, I, I have bad reaction to drugs. Okay, they. I. If you give me a drug that's, yeah, the, give me the lowest dose, it will affect me. Okay, and um, they gave me this drug gabapentin to kill my uh, numbing of the feet or somewhat help with the numbing of the feet. And they said you should take about three hundred milligrams a day. Well, I'm only taking a hundred, and I wake up and I'm groggy. And I'm groggy all day. I'm loopy all day. I'm loopy do you, today. Do you still and, not drink coffee? Uh, what do you mean still not drink coffee? Look at that. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, and the coffee doesn't help. But, I mean, and last night I didn't even take the gabapentin and I still have the loopiness. You know. So, I mean, all of a sudden they start giving you these drugs when you're older, figuring, eh, what do you, what, what, you're not going to need it. You know. You, you, you're not going to need all your all your stuff, right? You don't go to work every day. You don't need... Uh, In your faculties. Your faculties, yeah. Uh, and and but also... Do you have to take that drug? Uh, if I don't want my feet to be as numb or hurt as much, but uh, I, I, I'm I maybe going to stop taking it because I don't like the way it's making me feel. I'm groggy right now from it, and I didn't I take it last night. Cannabis is legal, and I use it to put me to sleep and keep me asleep at night yeah. and the new one that I'm using mm -hmm. new edible mm -hmm. uh, when I wake up in the morning I am groggy mm -hmm. but a cup of coffee puts me right <laughs> 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 you know one drug then the next to keep it up keep it <laughs> right 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 yeah uh, if I'm a little loopy I, I, too as long as we're doing all of this yeah. we should also talk about as long as we're talking about our health we should also talk about all of the jokes late night comedians do about old people just talk about their everything that's wrong with mm -hmm. them and that there's nothing wrong with that. They might think that it's funny and awful. They'll get there one day. Don't worry about them. But it's terribly important because among among ourselves, it's terribly important because the society at large, like those comedians, doesn't let us do that. And we're not supposed to, you know, but... Um, the culture just wants us to go away. Mm -hmm. They don't want to employ us. They don't want. Um, they think we're all demented, and they would. And they also want to impoverish us all by taking away Social Security and Medicaid. Um, and so, I think it's terribly important that we talk among ourselves among, about these things. So many things that are wrong with us at any age in our lives aren't things like I've got cancer that's going to do something terrible to you. There are things like a cold that are driving you nuts and your nose is running all day long, you know, um, or smaller or like your feet. If you take this drug, your feet won't hurt and so on. It's terribly important to exchange notes about those things or just talk with each other mm -hmm. about it because it becomes because, first of all, the culture has done it to it. It's made our health so much a part of our lives. So we're kind of stuck with it. And the doctors keep pushing pills. Some are terribly important, but I'm not so sure all of them are. Um, but we should be able to do that, and we should just ignore the younger people who make fun of us for doing it. Well, I want people to realize something, that the reason I, I finally found this out a couple, about a year ago. I finally decided it. The reason old people are grouchy is we're in pain a lot. There's, there's, you grouchy? Huh? I'm not grouchy. Oh, I'm grouchy. I mean, I have crabby old lady, but she's just my alter ego. It's not because yeah. I hurt anywhere. Yeah. But, I mean, I just find that I, as I've gotten older, I get grouchier just simply because I'm, um, uh, uh, I, I hurt. 
you know, I have a little pains. I have my feet ache. And, I'm uh, incredibly lucky that I don't hurt anyone. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, here's the thing that bothered me. I was going to do a, a thing about it, um, uh, a post about it. And that is, I am sick and tired on my Facebook page. That whenever I say something like, I didn't like that movie, they write back, you know what's coming, don't you? Well, that's just because you're old. Oh, really? Yeah, no, you're, or, or you're, you're, you don't like that movie because you're acting like an old fart. I mean, they well, will say that stuff. That? Huh? No, See, no, but okay. what I'm, no, what I'm saying is they're dismissing my opinion yes. because of my age. That's right. That's right. And do they have a right to do that? I don't think so. I don't think so either, but that's because I happen to be 79 years old and I'm upset by it. But yet, I will, that's why I don't post things on my Facebook page anymore, or opinions, because I just don't want that, oh, well, you're being dismissed because I'm an old fart, <clears throat> you know? You know, um, I agree with you, um, but it's not going to change anytime quickly. You know? Yeah. Um, the whole culture is built, I've mentioned this to other people, is if you watch any of the late night host, you know, interview shows yeah. like Seth Meyers and Stephen Colbert and the rest of them, mm -hmm. at least four nights out of seven, every one of them in their first, you know, one-liner monologues on the news when they first start, every one of them will include an anti-aging joke, every single one of them, four days out of five. Well, here's my question. If those were racist jokes four nights out of five, they wouldn't be working. That's right. But what's so different about ageism? Nothing. You know, except it, we don't. We the culture allows us to pick on old people because nobody, nobody likes old people. They're all afraid they'll grow old one day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> what was it? Uh, a girlfriend and I were going to start a um, a site called Nobody Wants to Listen to Old People. You know. Uh, <laughs> It it, 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 it it it's true. I mean, it, they, they dismiss age, and I'm sorry, we have something to say, you know, but I'm getting to feel irrelevant, you know. I feel like I'm slowly disappearing. Mm-hmm. That's what happens to us. Yeah, and, and I think I am, actually. <laughs> you mean physically you actually are? <laughs> yeah. You know, fading away into the back. I honestly believe I'll be dead for like five weeks, and somebody will say, "Has anybody heard from Alex lately?" <laughs> you know, like like we never noticed him before, but you know, suddenly he hasn't been here for a while, and m maybe he's sick or something. What you know? Yeah. And um, you know, really, really annoying old people. They really get a lot of a brunt of the jokes. Yeah, but young people don't. You know, they're yeah. really annoying young people too. <laughs> Give me an example when you talk about somebody like a Colbert or a, or whoever doing a joke. Uh, can you remember one specifically that? Not right now, yeah, I can't. but but it just they say something and you go, "That's ages." Yes. You know, it's always something about something wrong with an old person. Well, Mister Bill uh, Bill Maher, who considers himself Mister Liberal, right? Hmm. Ageist jokes up the ass on that show. I'm telling you, on all of them, all of them. Yeah, but that one in particular, you yeah. know. Watch the others. That does no different on any of the rest. I They're think no I bad. told you this story before, uh, but years ago I was um, uh, uh, working KQED, doing a show over there, comedy tonight, and I I was over there one day, having to uh, do voiceovers for the show, and. Um, the receptionist said, by the way, when you're through, uh, the guy wants you over at the uh, over easy offices. The guy who's the head of the show wants to talk to you. And I went, what does he want to talk to me about? Over easy was a show that you downs hosted. And by the way, I looked it up. You downs is now eight, 99, 98 years old. Yeah. He's still alive. So not, yeah. Anyway, they were, did the show about old people's call over easy. And he sat me down and he said, I was listening to your show the other day. By the way, I listen to you every morning because I drive my kids to work and they like listening to your show and so on. And he said, you were pulling some jokes about old people. I said, yeah. He said, stop. 
Good for him. I said, Good for him. Well, he said, you know, it's hard enough getting older and keeping your uh, self-esteem without having some guy on the radio making jokes about it. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it for a second and I said, you know, you're absolutely right. And from that day on, I never did another old person joke or, or allowed it on the show by the comedians. Mm -hmm. It um, Old people jokes, jokes about old people are the last acceptable prejudice in America. Yeah. Um, they used to say that that was true about old people, but they're making far bigger strides than us old folks are in acceptance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was a time when they might, you know, it was, I, I would have agreed that those were the two things that you could still make jokes about. Mm -hmm. But they've had a much better campaign than old people have. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it, 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 people should re remember this, that, you know, it, I'm, it, like I'm getting to the point where I just, you know, I wake up every morning and I go, life isn't getting any better. It oh, used, there was a time okay. in my life where it got better. You know, and now it's only getting, being, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I should be happier about it. You know, maybe I should embrace You know, happiness, aging. they say, is a choice. Uh, happiness is a choice. And it's one that I, I've never accepted. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know, there's a, I, I think that a lot of old people are unhappy about where they are in old age because they can't do things they could when they were younger. Yeah. Which are mostly physical things. Mm -hmm. um, and there's plenty to do. I mean, you know, now because of the cancer, I mean, it wasn't, but a few months ago I could run up some stairs nearby here. I can't do that anymore. I can walk up the stairs mm -hmm. slowly. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's okay. I mean, I can still walk up the stairs. Yeah. Um, it, it's okay. So, you know, if, if time is a problem, I just give myself more time. Um, it it doesn't, and, and I can go on and do other things I like. Right. You know, it, I don't see the point in lamenting what changes and what you can't do anymore. It's enjoying what you can do still and that you're still here to do it. Well, to any kids who might be listening, let this be a lesson to you. But they're probably not listening to us because we're two old people talking about getting old and they don't give a shit. They don't think it's ever going to happen to them. Well, we didn't either when we were there. Well, age, yeah, I guess. Day. I guess we were assholes as well. Anyway. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. You've been out of sync most of the time, I think. <coughs> but we'll see when the recording comes out. Uh, but uh, that's because I'm having to use this whole new system and... Uh, well, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to get into the technique, uh, the te technical part about it. I'll do that later on the show tonight. Anyway, love talking to you, dear, and we'll talk to you in two weeks, okay? Two weeks, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you will find her at timegoesby.net. That's her blog. It's terrific. Find out what it's like to get older, okay? Bye-bye, <laughs> Ronnie. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. And that's Ronnie. I love our discussions together. And I know that it's not, uh, how can we call it, it's not uh, perfectly wonderful uh, to a lot of you to hear about getting old and cancer and things like that. But fuck you. If I can't do that here... Where can I do it? I mean, that's the great thing about the Internet. Anyway, let me, uh, okay, we're going to go for the big, big uh, casino here. <laughs> we're going to go for the big uh, deal and see if I actually can take your calls and can put a panel together. I think it's going to be possible. Uh, I think it's going to be easy enough, uh, but we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see. Um, I, the lines are open, so now I need people to call so I can test this to make sure it works. I'm sure it probably will. I, I'm probably shouldn't be worrying about it. Um, but I am, you know, uh, so, uh, and we're here now and we're ready to go and everything should work. 
Yeah. So now all I need are callers to test it out. Uh, if you don't know how to call us, go over to gabnet.net. Over there you will find uh, not only the program playing right now in video, uh, but over on the right-hand side will show you all the things you need to know about getting this horrid thing called Skype and calling us and being a part of the citizen panel. Whatever Skype you download won't matter because it won't affect you, okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, guess what? It's Ray Renati, hey, and, and Ray is at the gym, and yeah. here comes Jeff Stein. There we go. It's all working, ladies, and let's hope. Let's see. Is Jeff there? There we go. It, okay. Just... Now, wait a minute. I have to do this. All right. Now we, we add uh, Phil Meyer. And uh, we add Charlie sure. Wallace, and it's all working. I've just got to do a little bit of adjusting of the picture here so that it's uh, uh, better than it, uh, uh, it should be. Uh, there we go. And I think... Hey, Alex, that interview was really good. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I you really, appreciated it. I really, really enjoyed it. it. I listened yeah. on tune, and it sounded great. Uh, what happened to Charlie? Charlie didn't, didn't manage to connect. Well, here comes Scott Boddicker. <laughs> Yeah, we're adding him to the group. Hello, Scott. Haven't seen you in a while. If you well, folks may, group already. If, you, if you folks may notice, the picture is a little bit different tonight, and the reason it is, I notice, is this is an older version of Skype, but supposedly it's impervious <laughs> to them forcing me not to use it. So we'll be happy to use it. Then uh, every better. And, and, it's better again. And everybody's name is right under the picture, too. That's what's so nice, you know. Uh, and, and your picture is square tonight, Phil. I guess that's maybe because of your, uh, you're using your portable or whatever. Yeah, I'm too hip to be square. Yeah. And Ray is at the gym. All the pictures look terrific. I think we're, we're okay, you know. Phil's normal yeah. on my my phone he's the same size as everyone else yeah my phone yeah could be because you're on a phone and he's got a full yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah uh but uh anyway i i'm i'm happy at least i mean this isn't the way it was this isn't the same makeup as it was before because all the names are underneath but it works so that's what that's what matters wait a minute somebody charlie, uh, uh, charlie turn down your audio turn down the show turn down the show i don't know i was connected huh yeah yeah you're on now you didn't know you were coming on okay you didn't know you were coming on it automatically signed you on because you had signed on before i maybe like this older skype even better because now i have yeah. look i have everybody's name under their picture uh, so you can know that Phil Meyer is the asshole is talking about Trump, you know? <laughs> yes, Scott. No, I'm just pointing. He's up there. No, no, no. Well, no, he's the, he's over to the side of you on the uh, on the on the screen on the air here. Let me uh, let me also. Well, you know, huh? I, I can give you some payback. Uh, how, try this. Mm -hmm. Has the cancer spread yet? What? Has your cancer spread yet? Has my cancer spread yet? No, why should it? Well, he, you know, that's what happens. <clears throat> yeah. If you're going to point me out as the asshole that supports Trump, yeah. I, I just figure I'd give you a little payback. Y yeah, yeah. Okay, well, fuck you. Anyway. Can, can, you, feel, can you feel it, you know, uh, uh, spreading? And <laughs> No? No, I'll stick my finger up my ass. By the way, I watched the Kaminsky. I'm watching it again. Yeah, was I right about the joke? Uh, only, no. 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 It, actually, how it goes is, he says, uh, he says uh, it, may it, it may just be a, a, a benign hyperplasia, which is an enlarged prostate. He says, is that good? And he says, no, it's not necessarily good. What's good is I fucking my nurse. I told you. No, 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 no. But it's not like you said, I got good news, I got bad news. The good news, bad news is you got cancer. The good news is I'm fucking my nurse. That was not the joke. It was close enough. No, it wasn't close enough. It was more like I said it was. No, nah, you, you were in left field. Are you kidding me? Huh? What, what, it, you, you said it was something entirely different. You know? It, well, uh, in any event, that's what it was. Okay. Oh. 
So you were wrong. <laughs> no, I was right. I was right that you were wrong. No, I'm right. You're left. Uh, yeah, well, that's for damn sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, so anyway, at least I, uh, you know, what happened today is I uh, there's this site, I won't say where, well, I will say, it, it, there's this site I went to that said, here's a solution to the problem. And they gave me a thing where I could download an old version of Skype that supposedly does not have any uh, extensions or anything attached to it. And... Uh, they said, if you install it, I tried installing it yesterday and it didn't work, but I installed it this morning just for the hell of it to try it again. And all of a sudden, here it comes up. And it, it, it somehow, uh, it doesn't show up on my screen. I have to pin it to my taskbar. But it's, uh, it's, it's an old version of Skype. It's 7.3, what is it? 7.36.0.101. Is this on the Mac? or, or No, the this is on the PC. Yeah, oh, it's on okay. the PC. This is on Windows. Uh, and so, uh, and it looks fine, and the picture's terrific, and we've got five people right now, and who knows how many other people will call, but I think they will all fit, and I think we've got it uh, working here. And I'm very, <laughs> I'm very happy because my life is now worth living. Alex? Yes. You, you might be limited to only eight people. Remember that was an issue before? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Actually, the limit was, was uh, I think, 10 or something like that. Uh, well, no, the earlier versions, Alex, what was happening was the eighth uh, person didn't have video. Oh, I see. Okay, well, anyway, yeah. we're, uh, who cares? Okay. Who cares? You know, yeah. I didn't have yeah. anything yesterday, okay? Yeah. So at least I have something now, you know. And there yeah. are some hints that I can, now that I put this in, I can go up to other versions or something like that. But, uh, I thought that was just an excuse to get Doug off the line. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that was the excuse to get Doug off the line, exactly. Uh, but uh, how many people we have now? We have six people. Wow, you see? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and me. Seven, including and me, yourself. Including myself. Did uh, you uh, figure it out? It isn't a matter of figuring it out. Uh, it was a matter of I was able to roll back to the old Skype classic using some kind of little thing that this one site, they had a version of it that is, is impervious to this forcing this upgrade. So Who we'll see. We'll purpose. see. And, and uh, if if uh, Skype is listening right now, they're going. Well, we can work our way around that. That's, you know, <laughs> that's exactly right, though, Phil. Who says it's impervious for right now? For, you right. know, six months from now, they're like another dick. They'll force up your ass yeah. down your throat. Uh, you yeah. know, I seem to remember that even your older versions were always asking uh, to be upgraded. Oh yeah, yeah. But you can you turn off an automatic upgrade on it. And, oh, okay. and so this one still says, hey, there's a new Skype, but would you like to go get it? And you just go, no, you know, but it 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 doesn't go. You have to. And if I go, I don't want to. It just doesn't let you go any further. That's what it was doing. I had to upgrade to the eight or I didn't have anything. I Alex, I have the same one you have. I found that and I never have to upgrade. It's awesome. Oh, really? Love oh, you, you know yeah. the one I'm talking about then? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I installed it. Yeah. How long ago did you install it? Uh, oh, God, months ago. Really? Why didn't you tell me about it? I did. I did. No, you didn't. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so last night we had this show that looked like absolute shit. Actually, I like the way this looks better even than the way the other one looked because I've got all everybody's name under it. So, you know. We can, uh, we can, uh, uh, people can go, oh, that's, that's Scott Boddicker. That's, don't, folks, use your real names on there. Use your names on there. Don't, don't put uh, Bob Idiot or something like that, you know, so they can, they, they can see your real name there. Nothing I'm being. So how's everything? Alex can remember your name. Yeah. <laughs> he just has to move the cursor. So, so you like the, the, uh, the discussion with Ronnie tonight, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. I uh, it's uh I it's 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 a weird situation for me, you know. She's so she's so good to talk to. I'd love to somehow give her a show, but you know, she doesn't have the strength to do that. 
Um, and uh, I just I think uh, her whole outlook is is Evidently. it will help a lot of people, you know. And I told her she is helping a lot of people uh, just by her attitude. Uh, but you know, I, this is a journey that only has one end here, and uh, there's no uh, the, the the this this little drama uh, has a, a, a finite ending. So we're gonna yeah. have to see what happens. You know, but uh, she's alive for now, and that's all that matters. But uh, uh, anyway, so um, let me see here. Oh, uh, yes, Jeff. Oh, turn on your turn on turn on your uh, your. Uh, Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think uh, it, it might work for her to have a fifteen-minute show? Well, I, I don't know. You know I, a I, I, I really I really don't know to tell you the truth. Uh, uh, I, I I've thought about maybe just doing something with her uh, a, a show and put it just on separately once a week or something like that. But uh, uh, who knows? You know, yeah. um, uh, time will tell. You know, so we'll we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but uh, you know, I I just it it's it's uh, I, 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 I you know I, it, it it's still it, it it affects me you know because to begin with I've been you know I've been, I've been having this feeling of uh, mortality lately. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure Phil went through that when he had his prostate cancer. You know, you didn't. Yeah, I, I, matter of fact, I was talking to someone else about that tonight. A friend who had a triple bypass, and uh, you know, for the for the first time in her life and the first time in mine, uh, you know, I I saw that you know the end the end uh, the end game was near. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Replace mortality with anxiety and uh, and uh, desperation, and you have me nailed down to a T as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, 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 yeah, I'm having a triple bypass, by the way, uh, on my prostate. That's what's so unusual. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, they're not going to do anything. Not, at your age, they just leave it alone and, and let the... Well, I, uh, oh, I talked to my doctor rest. yesterday because I wanted some reassurances, you know, and uh, I got some... Uh, you know, he just says, we just watch it, you know. He says, and if worse comes to worse, you get the hormones and that'll keep you alive for the next 15 years, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. Hey, look who's here, Rob Alfano, with his name under him. <laughs> uh, so, so I don't have to tell everybody who these people are all the time. I, I, I you know something. What is it about uh, Skype where it got worse and worse rather than better and better? <laughs> yeah. You know, did, the, did you call those old Babia guys to ask them if they knew anything about the Skype? No, no. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know that they that they they would have the answer to it. And on top of that, uh, I I found the answer, obviously, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I'm happy about it. Uh, so that's it's it's not a it's not a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at your uh, at your output on YouTube, and it's very sharp. Yeah. And uh, it looks fine. Yeah, looks great. You know. Yes, yes, Ray. Um, I have a friend who used to work at Microsoft, yeah. and uh, she said that all, every, they destroy everything, and it's, like, it's because they have this monopoly on Windows. So when it, it just nobody talks to each other, departments don't talk to each other. Yep. They just do everything on their own. It's a complete like, cash cow situation where they have the monopoly, and then everything else is just turns into junk. Take away the Teddy Roosevelt era regu uh, antitrust regulations, you get these big ass gangs that well, try to uh, yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. obviously, the, obviously, the thing that I was looking to do was to find an alternative to Skype, and I've been looking for it for the longest time. Something that would be easy enough that all of you could download it, and we could just go on and do what we're doing here, and it would serve the same function. Nobody makes it. You know, they all say, oh, well, we have ours. And the, some of them are just for the iPhones, you know, for, for, for uh, mobile phones. Uh, others, uh, Google Hangouts is so complicated to just get people on. You know, I want a situation like this where Rob calls 
And I answer it, and I go add to group, and there he is. What's so difficult about that? In fact, I'm asking the new Skype people what's so difficult about that, because apparently you can't do it that way. Have you checked out Zoom? Yes, but they charge. Oh, okay. So all of you would have to pay money to call this show. And come on, this show may be fun for you, but it ain't worth money. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, I like, you know, and, I, and I, I'd write uh, Skype and tell them, look, you've ruined my, my, my business because you've changed the whole way you're doing things. And their attitude will be, well, we don't want you to make money out of it anyway. Well, I don't make money out of it, but I do this show, and it's an unusual show, and it's a new I think a new format for talk, I love the fact that the names are here, uh, uh, a new format for talk, and I just, uh, uh, you know, I, I, they, they, they just yanked the rug out from underneath me, especially last night. I mean, when I finally had to go over to the Mac, it looked shitty, and it was very, the Mac was very difficult because for some reason, Skype lags on that, and it's, uh, you know, it, it has all kinds of problems. And it, the reason it has all kinds of problems is who makes Skype? Microsoft. They don't want it to work well on a Mac. Okay? Uh, I'm the only one here that's licensed to pull the rug out. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I noticed Scott is in his new home because he's he has a new... Uh, kind of uh, perspective there. I see a uh, iMac in back of you. Is that an iMac? Yes, an ancient one. An ancient one. How ancient? Uh, I want to say uh, 2007. Really? An Apple II? Uh, yeah, I have a 2007 over there, and the hard drive went bad. So what I did is I put the boot drive on a uh, little, you know, uh, external for for five gigabyte external. And uh, while it's it it's not as fast booting up as it would be with a, a hard drive inside, it does it and it works yep. just fine. And I save the whole machine because the trouble with an iMac is if it goes, you've got a brick sitting there with a nice screen. <laughs> hey, did you get your new computer yet? No, that's next week. Comes Wednesday, I think. Yeah, you know. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it because it's a, you know I'm I'm not going to use it as my main computer yet but some one day it's going to replace it's going to replace you uh, it's going to replace my my Mac Pro eventually you know I'd use it as soon as possible well I'm I'm not going to do that I'm going to set it all up in another room and use it for a while uh, you know what I've done is that since it doesn't have any hard drives in it I've gotten externals and copied all the hard drives that I have in my current computer here onto those hard drives so I can then use them on the new machine, you know. Uh, you know that Q Pro thing you have? Yeah. Uh, you you yeah. could use that as your hard drive. Well, no, I don't want to use it because that's a, that works through the network. And oh, it's, it's a little well, get, slower. Get one that it's, isn't a it, NAS. A it, it, little slower. Yeah. yeah, you can get one that's not a NAS, and uh, that Drobo I have has a uh, no, but SSD. I, I, but I'm happy. Turbo. I'm happy with the. Uh, I'm ha I'm happy with. I'm using the uh, the backups for these drives that are in here in my other room, and it work. They work very fast, and they're just fine. You know, it's just okay. fine the way it is. You know, uh, I'm an old man. I don't want to change my ways. <laughs> yeah, get off that's my lawn. Yeah, so listen, I, I got news for you, Phil. Um, gee, we got out of Syria. Uh, Syria. Uh, the Syria. And then all of a yeah. sudden, uh, ISIS became yeah. bolder. Mm -hmm. Well, we knew that was going to happen, but it looks like... Oh, we like knew that Syria was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. How did we happen. know that? How did we know that was going to happen? When Didn't Pence he? Said we I think. The, them. Yeah, and I think the Trump said we defeated. We defeated them. ISIS yeah. too. Well, and, you know, and 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 uh, as soon as they found out we were leaving, they bombed a bunch of show, soldiers today. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe it's time that the Russians and the Iranians and the uh, and the and the Assyrians uh, police their own. Yeah, uh, but but the guys who got killed were ours. Uh, four Americans. Are you familiar with this story, Phil? 
Well, no. But, oh, you know, okay. Well, then shut up. Anyway. Americans, <laughs> Americans get killed all the time because we're in a war that isn't, uh, or a, an action that isn't uh, our, our uh, action. You know, uh, Who's we action, there, whose action uh, is it? Well, it's theirs, but we, we certainly went after ISIS. Oh, wait, but and, there are other countries in there. There are, the, to them. there are other countries in there. Uh, the Kurds, for instance, have a very large presence in Syria in that fight. The only problem with the Kurds is we've left, we're leaving them alone, and they don't have any planes <laughs> or armaments. Well, no, we've done that to the Kurds each and every time. Uh, didn't, didn't we do that to them in uh, Iran? I mean, Iraq? Uh, 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 during the no, uh, no, oh no, yes, they they the Kurd. Well, Iraq hated the Kurds, right? Uh, and uh, the uh, Kurds uh, were pretty good fighters, you know. Mm -hmm. And they and so uh, Iraq didn't. I think Iraq didn't really go in there much. Uh, where the, where they wanted to take over was uh, in Iran. Well, yeah. we were supposed to help the Kurds at one point. I don't remember if it was under Bush one or two, and uh, we left them uh, high and dry. Well, maybe uh, was it was it the Kurds or was it the way? It it was not the way. It was the spider uh, and the Kurds. Uh, I, uh, I, well, I thought it was the Kurds and way. Yeah. Well, it's, it could have been the itsy bitsy spider. And and and, and the whole war was in uh, was uh, just you know started by by little Miss Muppet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you okay. I pulled. I friend. pulled. I pulled my bad joke for the day of K okay, folks. It's my only curd joke that I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, uh, it was uh, a turd. How many? How many soldiers? Joke. Anybody? Any know the number of how many soldiers got killed today? It was in four. a four. four. It was in a restaurant. Uh, Wait a minute. They said they're going to. Four gonna, Americans. They're going to. Four Americans. Yeah. yeah. How many? Uh, uh, do, did anyone else get killed? Yeah. Yes. Oh, so it was a uh, it was a it was a big bombing. Well, it was a very popular restaurant, and the the soldiers like to go there. And uh, somebody said after the fact that they're going to have to rethink soldiers going to the same restaurant all the time. Well, they say that to cops too that uh, you shouldn't have too many cops in the same coffee shop or donut shop. Well, if if you if you followed that rule, then Dunkin' Donuts would be out of <laughs> business <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know there were there were bombings in restaurants and uh, in in Germany uh, over the last several years. You know uh, where uh, the terrorists went in. Uh, this happens. You know they they make bombs. But, they but, well, and, and Phil, don't excuse this. You have a president who said ISIS. we're getting out of Syria, <laughs> and that emboldened the uh, emboldened ISIS to take an action against Americans. Yeah, so, it, so how do you know it was ISIS? They yeah. said they took claim for they took it. Oh, they take claim to everything. Oh, Phil, they, oh, okay. Do you know? Do you know that it's they? Side. They said it was them, like, oh. and I, I think ISIS is not a very what we would call admirable or honest group. But if they have any honesty, Phil, any honesty, it's got to be in saying we bombed that. <laughs> not, not necessarily. You know, you know they, they, they'll take credit for anything. Who, who's going to say they didn't? Phil, Phil, why didn't you for once just say, well, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we were get, we got out of there a little too early. You know, maybe, I, maybe we should have thought about a better way of of getting out of there. But no, you've got to defend Trump on everything. If I, if I past. said Trump fucked a fourteen year old girl and he's changing his name to R. Kelly, you <laughs> would defend him and say he deserves to take any name he wants and fuck any girl he wants. Well, she, she was. She, she looked, was. I know she what you. I know what you say. Here, here's your. Here, here's your answer. He fucked a 14-year-old girl? Well, look, someday she was going to get fucked anyway. Well, no, someday she'll be 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What are we going to do about you? I'm so happy I've got a picture tonight, and it actually looks really good. Well, if R. Kelly had done it in Hawaii, it would have been okay. Huh? If he had done it in Hawaii, it would have been okay. Really? Was the age of consent lower there? Well, it, they just upped it like last year, but it was 14. Yeah. Up until I think a year ago. Yeah. Unbelievable. No. And ISIS took credit for it, right? That's right. That's correct, Phil. <laughs> oh, boy, Phil. I don't know what we're going to do about you. You know what I also like about this? If you look at the picture, 
it's different than the last one where all the pictures were right on top of each other. Mm. There's a bit of a border now between the top row and the bottom row, and I like that. It looks yeah. much better. Mm -hmm. looks much yeah. better. Yeah. You know, and the names are there. They're easy to read. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 is there anything I can do about those names? I, I can't change them or anything, but, you know. How do I change it? Hmm? How do I change my name? How do I, well, you, you, <laughs> you can do that. I'll just, go SG, it'll be SG from now on. SG, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I uh, can't see it on the on the phone anymore, whereas with the old, new one I could, but that's okay. Well, officially now, officially, she made it official on the, the Colbert show last night. Kirsten Gillibrand is the latest person on, uh, I guess, what we call American President Idol. That's your girl, Alex. Uh, yeah, my girl, <laughs> Kirsten Gillibrand. Talk about joking on the set. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, I don't know, man. I, You know, I, I, I'm glad, though, that on all the newscasts, they bring up the Franken factor. She's a chameleon. I have my issues with her as well. Huh? Uh, oh, well, well, she was... She's a chameleon. I mean, she... Pro, was she hawkish? You know, like Hillary Clinton, Diet Coke version of Hillary Clinton. No, she was pro. She was, issue aside, she, she was pro gun when she was a congresswoman. Yeah, and then when she became a senator, she's anti gun. But she's been vote to her credit, though. Yeah, it may be due to cynical, shrewd reasons. She had, from what I understand, she has in the last year or two developed a progressive. Voting well, supposedly, what her argument on why, as a congresswoman, now see if you, <clears throat> any of you agree or disagree with this. As a congresswoman, she claims that she was representing a constituency, and that constituency yeah. was pro-gun, and so it was her job to voice their their needs. Or well, and their, Bernie Sanders yeah. said the same well, thing. Uh, yeah, and when yeah. when yeah. she when she became a senator, she said, "Now I'm." A senator for all of New York State, and most of New York State is kind of anti-gun. So uh, uh, you know, I—that's why I changed my opinion because I, I have to represent my constituency. Exactly. Sounds yes. good to me. Yes, Jeff. I, I heard her uh, on on uh, TV yeah. today. Yeah. And her story was a little bit different. It was that well, I got involved. Uh, I went to Brooklyn and I met a lady whose child was uh, died by being shot, mm -hmm. and that made her change her mind. Oh, okay. Uh, if, if if she says that's the reason, I don't know. I just he, she's that's what she said. I hear she stated that tonight. other reason, but you know, again, you somebody yeah. here said she's a chameleon. And uh, 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 I think it was De uh, Brian said she's a chameleon, and and I I don't like her. I mean, if, if Rob, how do you feel about Kirsten Gillibrand? Are you not? Don't really have any feelings about her. Yeah, she's the one. I don't really have a one way or another. She's the one that forced uh, Al Franken out of the Senate. Yeah, you know. And so I don't know how you felt about that, but I was yeah. rather bothered by it. Come I there. would say I, I was too, yes. Yeah, and that she was she doing it. Favor. She was doing it because she was planning on running for president. You know, uh, yes, uh, Jeff. The other thing that she mentioned today was that she has had more things in the Senate that she has written against Trump. In voting, I than I, any other senator. Well, what do you write that's against Trump? I don't know. You know, I mean, and I don't know if I would use that as a badge of honor. You know, uh, did she get any of them passed? You know. Well, the idea was to did it to slow get him down? Passed, huh? So she was negative. On these mm -hmm. So uh, she voted against anything that she he voted wanted. against them. Now that doesn't mean that. See, the, I think there's something the Republicans wrong. Republicans got him one anyway. 
But. Co- correct me if you think I'm wrong on this, but I think there is there is something inherently wrong in uh, in being against Trump for the sake of being against Trump. That's what we have. Yeah, no. but, but, but I, 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 I just don't I know. I, 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 I just don't know if well, that's Jill if that's that. if that's you know if that's a good policy to have. Anybody? No, what were you going to say, Rob? I think I think the other is just as true. If you believe that being against Trump for the sake of being against Trump is true, then I think Phil suffers being I, for the complete opposite. Yeah. Being for Trump for the sake of being for Trump. I mean, with everything collapsing around this guy, I mean, you see Rudy Giuliani's uh, Rudy Giuliani says Trump didn't collude with Russia, but can't say if his campaign aides did. Uh, yeah, so this is, Rudy Giuliani day, says U.S. president. the story. No, he's his personal attorney and uh, uh, on this deal, and uh, he's throwing Manafort and uh, Cohen under the bus. That's all. You know, but Phil, the, the you, you if 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 this kind of evidence surrounded a Democrat, mm-hmm. you would you would you wouldn't hesitate to believe it. Well, in fact, you're believing all this stuff about Hillary that nothing not would come true. out. Nobody around Hillary has gone to jail. They will. Uh, Trump's, once, Trump's once foundation. Trump, you talk about Hillary's found. Well, you know the the, the, the Clinton foundation. Trump's foundation has been shut down now. Well, He's been Hillary banned along with all those other people from from participating on the boards of any others. Illegal uh, activity everywhere you turn. That's what I don't get. It, it, He's if, a New Yorker, were, and you know what? Tenth, he was a Democrat before one, he was Republican. One tenth of this information had come out about any Democrat and you'd be ready to lock them up, lock yeah. her up, whatever. Yeah, yeah lock her so up. So I, I, I totally, you know, I think it's more true with Trump supporters who just support for the sake of support because God forbid we were wrong. Sounds like a what about argument. Uh, that's not a what about You know, argument. I can I see, look, I can see the bashing about the Clintons, okay? There's a lot of... Uh, uh, what could we call it? Um, uh, There's a lot of bodies in the closet. No, it's not a lot of bodies in the closet. There's a lot of, uh, a, a, just a lot of kind of stuff that makes you kind of question what went it's, on. It's Wait a minute, let me, let me finish. Office. Let me finish. Let me finish. Well, none of those things were ever proven, Phil, so you can't well, even they say that. Well, they put in all their cronies, well, uh, the Clintons. Well, everybody puts their cronies in office. What, what yeah, do you think Trump it. has done? Yeah. The Republicans have invested the Clinton, investigated the Clintons. What at least nine side, or ten times? Side, side, left side, you know, right side. Uh, but I mean, we could we could say that. Yeah, they've you investigated know, her for a I, long I time. Had problems. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I had a lot of problems. I had a lot of problems with Hillary. But what Me I don't too. get, what I don't get, and and I was always very critical of uh, Obama on my radio show on Sirius. Yes, you were. Which I think is one of the reasons why I'm not there any longer. Uh, it, it is, no, <laughs> it, 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 no, it's because it, it, I think uh, what's his name, the uh, the million billionaire. Uh, oh, the one that's not going to be president now. R- r- no, uh, Soros. Oh, Soros. Yeah, Soros. Soros uh, his organ, one of his organizations, was very pissed at me, and I think that Soros got me kicked out of Sirius. Okay, Why but anyway, you said that Avi Ravenhoff guy had a hand in it. Uh, well, he, what do you think? Avi, who Avi Ravenhoff worked for? Yeah. He worked for for George Soros, yeah. Media work, matters. Media matters, which which is was is lock, stock, and barrel is George Soros. Anyway, the point that I'm making is that uh, I w- was always critical about uh, Obama because I felt that I really wish he had run for vice president and been in there for a while, and then became president. Then he would be ready. He would have all the tools in his hand. Instead, it was kind of earn while you learn. But in the end, I think he turned out to be an okay president. But I think he was a... Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. He was a great guy. He was a... uh, uh, They were a terrific family. They were a great example to families all over America. And um, I liked them. They were nice people. And for him to go ahead... And say the kind of things he says about 
about Obama, I think is really bad taste. You know, here you like the guy because he's a nice guy. No, Not I like him. No, things. he did some good things too. I think that he yeah. had good intentions. I think part of his problem was, had he been pre vice president for eight years, he would have had the, the chops to really be a very effective president. Instead, he was a very weak president at the beginning. Towards the end, he got very strong. He got very good at what he was doing. But it would have been nice if he had agree. had if he had had that ability at the very beginning. I don't agree. Well, whatsoever. I know you wouldn't agree because you hate yeah. you hate Obama. Yeah, the guy gave one hundred and fifty billion dollars to to uh, to to uh, terrorists. And uh, uh, how did he, he give one hundred one hundred fifty billion dollars to terrorists? What to who? What terrorists? On the uh, the Iran nuke deal. No, uh, no, 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 no. no. Them, that was their we money. We didn't give them. No, it, no. the Shah. No, uh, it was the people's money. It wasn't. It wasn't the uh, the government of Iran. And you know well, the well, thing wait, is, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second, Phil. 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Who do you think, when we give the money to the government of Iran, aren't we giving the money to the people of Iran? Oh, or, do we ha or do we have to? Their, oh, their I, uh, right, right. Scott, Scott is going. No, no, no. Family. What you're saying we, is you got to go to each and every home and hand out ten dollar bills. Is that yeah. what you're what you're saying? Just send them a check. But we gave them <laughs> euros and cash, and uh, it was you know, their money. It money. was their money. Yeah. Well, now it was, was the their money. Them. It was in American banks and being held in American banks. Right. It did not come out of our treasury. And it should have stayed in American banks was, until it, it, they got a government. And it paid interest on that money that we stole from them too, Alex. They're they're they're, they're, yeah. they're a major supporter we, of terrorism. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let, 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 let's Scott, let's Scott talk for a second. Hey, come on. Quit flapping. Huh. Quit flapping your chops. It's it's Scott's turn. Yeah. We actually had to pay them interest on the money that we'd stolen from them. We didn't yeah. steal it. Oh, we did. Oh, we, we did know, steal we, we it from them. We stole maybe fifty million, but we had to pay them back. You know, yeah, the, we did, we did them good. We did them good. Scott, you don't remember that we had three hundred and sixty or sixty-five hostages in, in our own embassy. You don't, you, you don't remember that's a completely oh, different that's a completely the, uh, different the story there. Phil that's a completely different story that's a, you, the, that's a they're our enemy why, that, why would you give that kind of money Vietnam is because, our enemy. because we took that money Vietnam. we took that money from them we help held them in American banks gaining interest and all of that they sat in American banks and finally, when we made a deal, the nuclear deal, part of the thing was return the money to us. It was not ours. It was it theirs. Was a payoff. It was theirs. It was not a payoff. It was their I, money. I don't agree with you. You know, when, when you look at Hamas. Well, you cannot agree you, with me, but I'm telling Scott, am I, am, I, am, I, am I speaking out of, out of my ass or am I right? No, you're speaking wait, out wait, of my ass. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Will you let fi I asked Scott. Yes, Scott. Yeah, you're totally right. It was their money. We owed it to them. I mean, that was 20 years ago. We fought in Vietnam 40 years ago. We're best friends with Vietnam now. Yeah, What's but the Vietnam difference? is not Japan, a major Look at support. Japan, what they did to us in, in Pearl Harbor. We should go bomb Japan right now, shouldn't we? supporters <laughs> 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 of terrorism. You know, I like I, I like Scott Phil. I like Scott oh, Phil because I like Scott Phil well, we because he's he's line. funny. He's funny. Uh, uh, boy. Yeah, Dan, I'm glad we uh, we see eye to eye on a lot of things, Scott yeah. and I. Never seen you this worked up before in my. Uh, you know, Phil. Phil, Phil tonight I was I was saying to I was saying to I was saying to Marjorie, yeah. who, my wife. You may know her. Uh, I That's was saying, better. I was saying to Marjorie that I can't believe Phil believes all the drivel that comes out of his mouth, yeah. because I know Phil, and he's not stupid, and I know Phil, he's a kind, decent man. Okay, yeah. so I can't believe that he comes out with this drivel, which is nothing but pure evil. I think what's pure evil is the Iranians, you know. Uh, 
I, I can't believe that you, know, you would support a regime that supports terrorism I was, the way I, the Iranians uh, uh, do. Should I support? The way should Trump I supports Russia? Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. Let, let's go back to who we. That's, that's another one let's, of Bautism. Let's go back to who we originally supported, <laughs> who was the Shah of Iran. Want to talk about that one? A dictator who we put in there? Yeah, yeah and he had the best pistachio nuts of any dictator. And, 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 you know, you ever have Shah of Iran pistachio nuts? No. I have, and I still remember them. Really? By the way, yeah. speaking of sp pistachio nuts, spitachio nuts, pistachio nuts, um, uh, do you know what I discovered? All these years I've been buying pistachio nuts and who doesn't like everybody anybody here not everybody. like pistachio nuts Hello. Uh, right uh and i've always been buying them in the shell and you sit there for hours upon hours and you eat them and you maybe get uh, a handful of them and you get a whole bowl full of seeds when you're through right shells when you're through shells you That's can God's buy its way of keeping you from gaining you too much can, weight you can buy them salted and shelled and you know something? They're really good. It's dangerous. much better than the shelled ones. No, 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 no! You got to pay. A, you got to pay penance to eat something that's that fattening. No, it's not that fattening. They're very uh, low. They're, I, they're very low the in. They're, not they're very low in carbs, and they're considered very healthy nuts. Nuts are all nuts are considered healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah in moderation. But if you sit there oh, and you I, eat a I, whole bag of these, I, I don't eat a whole bag. I get a little handful. Forty-five pistachio nuts has five carbohydrates in it. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, uh, I I, uh, I will get give my give myself a little handful and down them. And but I don't have to shell them anymore. The only thing the like shelling. Them. You I will. like selling them, yeah. I like selling them. It, it slows you down. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, you got to you got to get slowed down by certain things. Well, there, there, the, you know, there, there are those of us. Whoops, there are those of us who are lazy, and uh, you know, we like to, you know. Support terrorist organizations. Support yeah. terrorist organizations. Exactly. Yeah, I'd like to do that. On that, we can agree. Oh boy, you know. Plus, they're salted, right? They're salted. Yeah, yeah. That's bad for you. Well, I mean, come on, you know, <laughs> Jeff. At our age, who gives a shit whether something's bad for us? <laughs> it it yes. can get the cancer. You know. I had a, I had, I had an older friend a while, ten years ago. I, he was a who was a smoker, gay himself. He was an older guy though, and how uh, old was he? Like around your age, maybe a little older. Six and five. it was a platonic. It was a platonic relationship. There was nothing else involved. But he uh, who was a, he was a big smoker, a chain smoker almost. And I said, you know, those things are bad for you. I knew he was gonna fire back at me, and he fired back like this. Well, so is sucking a dirty dick, but I'm not gonna stop either. So. I mean, if, if I had a ter if I had a terminal illness right now, like like Ronnie has, for instance, I'd start doing everything I never was supposed to do. To begin with, I would eat everything, I would hot fudge sundays, everything, you know, because what, what I'm going to gain weight? Come on, you know, we're, we're we're all terminal. I'll have plenty of time to lose weight when I'm dead, you know. And secondly, I think I'd maybe heroin. Never tried heroin. Try that. Hey, fentanyl. <laughs> Fentanyl's available. You know, why not? You can snort heroin, you know. Yeah, I don't want to snort it. I want to shoot. I want to get the full the full pizzazz the out of it. Huh? You know, and maybe somewhere along the line I'll overdose. So what? I was going to die anyway. But I don't, you know, I'm not at that point yet. So at least I, you control it. At least you control it. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Alex, Alex, you should do the, what? Uh, all the the psychedelics, you know, like LSD or mushrooms and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a picture of it cool. anymore, Ray. Is there a reason why we don't have a I picture? Know. Yeah, because I got off the machine and also my battery is only at 20%. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So we look at that picture of you, which is, I don't know how to describe the picture. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's the lighting. It's you know, they, they, this is this is Ray Renati right here. Where eraser head. Light. Do yeah, that right behind there. her on top. Huh? Well, I was in the kitchen and there's a skylight and then it just did it, Bill. So I just kept huh. it like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's an eraser head look. Yeah, it yeah. is the eraser head look. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, 
You know, uh, we, we we supposedly have a real drug problem in this country now. Uh, and Trump lost a brother opioids. to a drug overdose, didn't he? Huh? Trump lost a brother to a drug overdose, did he not? Uh, uh, no, it's not yeah, alcoholism. It's, it's alcoholism. Oh, it's alcoholism. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I, you know, I, I, they, 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 I saw a thing tonight in which they were blaming, uh, uh, who is it, uh, which com company does, uh, does, uh, um, uh, Oxycontin, it's, uh, starts with a P, uh, Pfizer, Pfizer, I think, I think it's Pfizer, uh, and they were saying, but they gave the world Viagra, uh, the, the, they said that Pfizer should, uh, you know, there should be laws against Pfizer and people should be able to sue them, blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking, because they're, they're saying that there are certain documents in which the head of Pfizer wrote notes saying that, you know, uh, please don't tell doctors about the dangers of OxyContin, but only the positives. Uh, and I wonder about a company like that, are they really responsible for the epidemic? Or are they responsible just for the fact that they invented it and they sell it and that they make it and people procure it? And then everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. Well, no, no, no. I you know, I mean, I I, I question what is the drug company's responsibility? OK, let me give you an example. I have a wife. She has a, ba a bad back. She has a lot of other conditions that require her to take uh, um uh, in her case, it's Dilaudid, which is right up, right up there with OxyContin. Uh, but she is monitored by a doctor. She does not overdo it. She tries to underdo it. She's very good about using it. But uh, it has been a lifesaver for her. This woman mm -hmm. would be in dire fucking pain 24-7 if it weren't for the, for the drugs that they give her. So... I don't see any stories about Pfizer and how they've relieved the pain of millions. All right? Now, I'm not standing up for them. I think they should control where this drug goes. Apparently, it's getting out into the, uh, into the population rather promiscuously. But my question still is, it, there's a good here that's been done by these drugs. And what's happening is with this railing against the drug problem in the country, which should be dealt with by the, by the public um, as a medical problem, uh, what's it going to do to all the people who genuinely need it? You know? I mean... Hey, Alex, I think it's mostly the generics that get out. The generic, cop, you know, all the generic companies. Well, the, but, the, but the I don't think, for instance, OxyContin is a generic. They don't have a generic. Form? I don't think there's a oh, generic. Okay. I think it's uh, in the Dilaudid. I don't think there's a generic. If there was a generic to Dilaudid, I'm sure my wife would be taking the generic. There's uh, oh, okay. what they do is they combine it with other things like, and they call it Norco and Vicodin, and and and, and, and so forth, according to this article. Uh, and uh, most of the uh, most of the things is that it's addicting, and <clears throat> also. That it uh, uh, can cause upset stomach, vomiting, things like that, uh, and uh, breathing problems, a pressure in your brain, uh, curving of the spine. Um, uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, it says it, it can cause death, particularly to children and teenagers. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is these are extreme circumstances. For instance. My wife has a doctor who is her pain doctor, okay? Right. And he prescribes a certain amount every month. He says, don't do more than this a day. If she does more than that a day, she's going to run out of it by the end of the month. And she's very good at handling it, you know? But she's being watched very closely and monitored. And, and well, doctors are not being as promiscuous as you think because, like, no. for instance, I get Xanax... And the doctor now will only give me a certain amount every year. He she, he says I don't want any whistles to go up, you know, any red yeah. flags to go up. Uh, the serious side effects: uh, chest pain, irregular heartbeat, hives, rash, itching, okay, swelling of the face. Uh, and what tongue. is what is this for? Uh, Oxycontin. 
Okay, well, but what are the good parts of this? Uh, the, what are the well, benefits? Looked up side effects. What are the benefits? Side effects. You know, look, we understand these things can kill you if they're used promiscuously. In fact, you ready for this? She takes Dilaudid. She's very good about it. She doesn't go crazy. We just got our second bottle of, what is it, Narcan or whatever that thing is? Nar Narco? Uh, the thing that you take that uh, you, if, if she suddenly has an overdose, I can just shove it in her nose and, and she'll, it'll yeah. save her life. Yeah. It'll save her life. But we have two bottles of that in the house now. Of course, we don't need them. But, um, and by the way, if I, if I ever have that terminal disease and I take an overdose so I can kill myself, please don't give me that shit, okay? Uh, but uh, but uh, this is what they do in New York now. You get a free bottle. It's like a, with every five bottles of uh, Dilaudin, you get a free bottle of this stuff. <laughs> You know. Hey, uh, what color is, uh, is the Oxycontin that Marjorie's taking? She's not taking Oxycontin. I just said oh, that. Okay. Oh, because uh, she's taking the. She's taking, there's different dosages she's depending on the she's color. Taking, she's taking Dilaudin. Yeah, it goes up to like fifty or something. I, eighty. 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 The yeah. green is eighty. Yeah. How do I know this? Because I saw it on TV. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, how, how much responsibility do we put on the manufacturer and how much responsibility do we put on the public sector to somehow do something about this? It's what the Americans do. We're, we blame gun manufacturers for gun deaths. Yeah. Uh, why not blame, uh, you know, if this, is, if this is the way people are because we're all victims, we, we don't take responsibility for our actions, mm -hmm. so therefore we blame someone else. Uh, and uh, whether it's gun manufacturers or drug manufacturers, well, uh, Charlie, Charlie, you've had a lot of pain in your time, haven't you? What with the with the foot thing and everything? Did they give you pain medication? Um, yeah, off and on over the years. Yeah, I've I've been on. Um, oh, what the heck is it? Hydrocodone. Yeah. Times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did is they that Vicodin? Uh, uh, I think it is Vicodin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that is hyd hydrocodone. It's one of the names for hydrocodone. Yeah, I've like it is. three times, and that's when I usually get on it. Yeah. I never had to take it for my toes. N really? What did you have to take it for? Uh, for ruptured discs in my back. Oh, wow. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, hey, Alex, uh, can Jeff, I say one thing? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, well, okay, Ray and then Jeff. Yeah, okay. I just want to say that, uh, you know, Xanax, uh, benzodiazepine, that's that's a, a hidden problem that the news doesn't talk about that's just as big an issue as, as the opiates. In fact, if, uh, if you don't, when you're working off of a benzodiazepine, if you go too fast, it can actually kill you. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I'm, I'm dependent on uh, clonopin, and I have been for 20 years because I started taking it for sleep, and they told me to keep taking it, and I've been trying to get off of it for a year now. And I, I can only go off like 10% of the time. It, it's, it's a huge issue. Yeah. yeah gab uh, and, and you never hear about it. There it is. There it is. There's my Xanax right there. My friend gave me uh, two clonopin when I was going to Australia, and it was it was fabulous, and there was no um, uh, after effect. There was no hangover or anything. And on the oh, way that's... back, I didn't have any. And somebody on the plane gave me a, a val not a valium, uh, uh, an, an Ambien or something, and and that had uh, felt like it was uh, I had a hangover. Really? Well, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, that's the, that's why they thought the benzodiazepines were so great. But then now they, they found out uh, a few years ago that it causes dementia and uh, all kinds of memory problems and a whole bunch of other things. And so mm. they have to get everybody off of these drugs, and it's extremely difficult to get off of them. Oh, I, uh, well, I take, I take like, uh, I've, what's that? Sorry. A uh, two-milligram pill of... Uh, of Vicodin, of Vicodin, of uh, Xanax, and then I use like a quarter of it to put me to sleep occasionally. I took one last night, first time in four or five weeks or something like See, that. See, that, that's how it's supposed to be used, occasionally. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. How it's supposed uh, to be. But yeah. I've never found that I got addicted to it or had a problem with addiction. No, you won't. It takes like two weeks to get dependent on it. 
Plus, my doctor said, oh, you could use it at night to go to sleep. And the reason they say that is, I'm 30, I'm 30, I'm 89, 80, 70, how old am I? <laughs> 79 years old, and they go, ah, go ahead, so what if you're addicted to it? You're 79, have some fun. You know? No, they gave it to me when I was 37 for that. So. Really? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, and he told me to take it every night, and I did for twenty yeah. years. And now I've, it's taken me over a year, and I'm only halfway off. Really? So that's yeah, what. So that's what's doctors, wrong with you, Ray. I think doctors like to hand out pills as uh, as uh, rather than go yeah. and fix the root problem. Okay. Well, that Jeff people, Jeff had uh, his hand up there. Uh, yes, Jeff. No, I, I disagree with you, Phil, as usual, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know. I take a lot of drugs. I probably take ten different pills every day. Wow. And it's a pain in the ass, and I'm always trying to minimize it. I'm going to count how many pills I take every day. Yeah. What what, what 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 are some of the pills you take, Jeff? Oh, jeez. I gotta get gotta find my list. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am. I have to have a list. <laughs> yeah. I, I have them on my cell phone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey Pam, why don't you come and do a still list? You know it. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna start listing. Now, are you taking any pills, Rob? Nope. Nope. Nothing. No. No. No Nothing. medicine at all. No. Well, I I just take uh, synthroid, which is a not a medicine. Thyroid. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a medicine, but you know. No, it's not. It's it's an actual hormone. Is it's it? it's not a medicine per se. Yeah. It's not a chemical. It's yeah, it is a chemical, but it's a natural. <laughs> it's not a man-made uh, like I was right. taking those stupid pills for a while. Yeah, I take Synthroid. I also take you know Crestor and a uh, uh, couple other things. I can't. Remember I just there. counted the yeah. quantity of pills. I don't know what they are. But yeah. These are non-vitamin stuff. You know, because I take the vitamins oh, stuff too. Yeah. But uh, nineteen pills a day uh, for meds. I, really? I Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. 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 Some of them are small, some of them are big. And, and what are they for? Well, I guess you <clears throat> yeah, you do have a pantheon of problems. Well, you know, the, the heart and uh, sure. they give you this thing called Miglidol for a year and you got to take a couple of those. I got to take an aspirin. How uh, much how much I, does I, your how much do all those pills cost you a month? Um with your insurance. With the insurance, uh, I don't know, probably two hundred bucks. Is that all? Yeah. Well, for, Kaiser. Yeah. For, oh, Kaiser. Okay, it's nineteen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like ten bucks a prescription. Yeah. No, in Kaiser, one of those pills of cyanide. Uh, Jeff. <laughs> uh, Jeff. Well, well, okay. Okay. So uh, baby aspirin was the first. One. Okay, I take that. Um, Me too. A lot of people take that. Uh, Oxcordon. Oxycortazine. Yeah. Oxycortazine. <laughs> Gesundheit. Oh, <laughs> if, it, if it has more than 12. Yeah, just hold it up. Hold it up to your, your TV. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Here we go. You guys see this? Uh, it's too white. Let me too see if white. I can. Uh, we okay. can I don't think we can get it to. Uh, can't see now, it. Uh, <laughs> um, what happens if I do? Uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, uh, okay. Simvastatic. 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 Statin. Okay, so that's a that's a uh, that's a uh, statin. That's a uh, cholesterol low drug. Cholesterol, yeah. Yeah. What else do you yeah. have? Uh, let's uh, see. <laughs> Furo. Semidide. Yeah, furosemide. Furosemide. Never heard of that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Cialis. Everybody takes that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I take it. I take it oddly enough for, for the, the prostate. prostate. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the side effect, of course, is a boner, which is fine with me. You know. <laughs> That's right. Um. Sen Centroline. Do you know something? Centraline. Get the one you can pronounce. Oh, it's like, <laughs> kinda, you know, it just goes on and on and on. Yeah. Centraline, will you get that at Grand Central Station? Yeah. There's one that you can understand. It won't be at aspirin. 
Tylenol. Tylenol. <laughs> as needed. As needed. Oh, that's a new drug, as needed. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Electro Prolo. Oh, that's for the heart. I take that. Okay. Um, You're having trouble. Media. What? Uh, well, that must be just size. Let's see. So, what do you do when you go to the doctor's office? You just hand them the list and say, "Here." Right. Well, you know, what first of all, they already have the list. Mm -hmm. they, and yeah. yes, I bring it to them. To show but I love the ads on TV for these things. Uh, to begin with, they're always on the newscast at 6.30. Mm -hmm. Most of these ads on those shows, so you know who the listeners are. There, there are no kids watching that, those news shows, you know. And, and they all come on with about a 15-second 15 15 pitch. And the rest oh. of the 45 seconds of that commercial are all the contradictions of the drug. <laughs> and while they are listing the contradictions, I love to watch the visuals they're showing. It's Grandpa yeah. throwing a baseball, and yeah. then he's 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 walking down the park feeding the pigeons. And he's happy. He's happy, so and they're happy. saying in the background may cause death, may cause irritable irritable bowel right. syndrome, uh, if <clears throat> painful rectal itch. You know, they list a whole pantheon of this crap. Hey, I, I, I resent those commercials because yeah. I hate fucking gardening. <laughs> and every one of these old people are gardening. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you they, the thing. They, that they all, you, know, you know the thing that also bothers me about them? And, I, and this is the God's honest truth. It's that one of these ads, for instance, said, if you have cancer, this can can, you know, help you live longer prolong your life prolong your life and then there's a thing at the bottom of the screen okay that says average length of whatever is three months <laughs> and then i looked up the cost of the drug and it was ten thousand dollars a month so you're going to spend thirty thousand dollars and you're going to be dead anyway I'm yeah, gonna party it's, with it's that better than giving it to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I spent kids. I spent all your money on this drug that said I'd be here for three extra months with you. You know. You know why men die before their wives, right? What? You know why men die before their wives? Because they, they want to. to. Because they want to. <laughs> <Yeah. going> to. <laughs> That's right. We have incentive. Yeah. You know. Oh, excuse me though, Scott. Me what? too. They would not like that joke. <laughs> uh, hey, listen, I, I want to ask you, I want a little opinion from you folks out there who are, uh, are, are part of our uh, citizen panel tonight. I've got a list here. Uh, this is uh, my list. Okay. Uh, uh, how many, anybody here belong to LinkedIn? I, I do, but I don't remember the... Uh the uh, password. Yeah, well, yes. I, I, I belong to LinkedIn. Now, I have no idea what LinkedIn is exactly <laughs> or why I should be a member of LinkedIn, but every now and then they send me a list of jobs they think I might qualify for. Now, they don't say this guy is 79 years old and nobody will hire him, okay? Did but, you get greeted at Walmart? No, I was thinking actually of applying for these jobs and seeing what response I got and not lying mm -hmm. to them about my age. I'm 79 years old and I want the job at uh, the confidential organization in New York for film editor. Now, I, by the way, I can f edit. I'm very good at editing. I know all. I know all the programs for editing. It says I have to know uh, uh, Adobe Premiere, which is not the best editing program, by the way. Final Cut Pro is, but I I know both of them. I know how to use both of them. Uh, also, it says I should be, know how to use After Effects. Well, I know how to use After Effects. I would be perfect 
for this job under, under any circumstances. And they say, I need five years experience in each of these things, and I've got maybe 20 years of experience in each of those, right? Apply! Yeah, apply. Right. Are right? any of these uh, uh, things uh, gig-based? The, 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 what? Are any of these things, these venues, these jobs gig-based? What do you mean gig-based? Yeah, they, they, just their uh, job. Yeah. It's like I mean, contracting. They don't give a sh I don't think they would give a shit if you were 79, 29, or 109. You know, they'll use you for uh, like a few months at most, and then, you know, oh, sign or not. Okay, I, I, you I, think, I think, to be honest with you, they would see 79 and go, oh, well, not him. Okay? I don't think you have to give, your, their, uh, give them your age. Okay, here's one for you at uh, Stitcher. Okay. Out of New York, mm -hmm. out of New York, executive producer for podcasts. Perfect. You yeah. know, in my re re resume, I would probably write, I invented the fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, wouldn't that qualify me for a job <clears throat> as an executive producer? Right? Yes. Where did, I, where did my ball go? Uh, he my, just dropped his ball. My golf ball. <laughs> Well, it went somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'll go oh. get it later. Uh, yeah, it, it says here, uh, executive producer podcast for Stitcher. Uh, I would be perfect for that, right? You know? Yeah, um, you can also tell them about your radio show on CNET and, you know, that uh, you did. Uh, you well, know, it said that I must adapted. I must know about, I must know about, uh, 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 what is it, entertainment and uh, interviewing. Interview? I mean, it's it, all Have you the things. Have interviewed anybody, Alex? <laughs> yes, I have. Give the, give the list of people you've interviewed. Huh? <laughs> give them the list of people you interviewed. Exactly. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's Let a me very go. positive thing if you want to work, actually. Let me go. Send them the, the Christy Canyon interview. Where? <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where is it? Oh, there's LinkedIn. Here we go. Um, uh, 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 under the, uh, let's see here, under editor, uh, under executive producer for podcasts, they, um, I have to wait for it to come up here. Um, it says, uh, yeah, um, executive producer podcast leads diverse, uh, interdisciplinary teams mission to identify, create and launch the next generation of exciting new shows. All right. Uh, and uh, it, 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 I thought executive producer goes for the coffee. I would oversee a stable of existing <laughs> Stitcher shows, providing support and guidance on everything from day-to-day -day production to budget management to contract negotiations to audience growth. Do I know about any of that? Apparently, I know nothing about audience growth. Audience growth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently that, that that has eluded me completely, but fuck it. Anyway, let me see. That here. would be the sticking point. <clears throat> Staff reporter and journalist for Horizon Media. I gotta get my golf ball. Excuse me, folks. <laughs> Don't get stuck. Now people say well, what do you use what what do you use the golf ball for? Well, uh to uh it's made my feet feel better. Believe it or not, I sit here rolling my foot on the golf ball all night. Um, let's see here. Uh, associate creative director, copy. Let's see if there's anything else here. Oh, senior journalist for BBC Music. Yeah, I don't know that much about music anymore. Um, <coughs> and vice president of events for a human rights foundation. I wonder what you would do. Uh, bookings coordinator? Well, I think the video editor thing and then edit and the executive producer of podcasts are two yeah. things I should apply for. So maybe I'll yeah. apply for them and see if I even get a reply from them. See if you get an interview. Huh? See if you get an interview. Uh, and, and in the podcast one, Stitcher, I'm going to say, I invented the podcast. <laughs> Prove it. That'll make you sound old, though. You know something? Yeah. I, can, I, I can prove it. I actually have the program we used here. That's yeah. what the, that's what the uh, interviewer would say to you. How do you prove it? Well, I got that. With, I, I wrote a note to uh, 
there's this thing called Podcast Business Journal that they just started. Oh. And one guy said it did the history of the podcast. I wrote him. I said, you're full of bullshit. I invented the podcast, and I told him when and how. And he said, oh, I thought I was first. And I never heard from him again. It's like they didn't call me and say, hey, well, let's interview you about how this whole thing started and, and whatever. Because we're the it's podcast. Like Marconi versus Farnsworth. You, no, they don't want they don't want to have anything to do with me because I would then ruin their whole notion that the podcast was started something like three years later than when I did it. And yes, it was three years later than when I did it. But I did it, <laughs> you know, and I've got the program to produce to prove it with a date stamp on the program. So, you know. Mm. In case people are wondering what I'm saying, I, I did a thing where I, uh, I was off the air, and so I decided to do a daily show on the Internet. This was like in 1997 or something like that. When was it? I, in 1998. Was and, that the monkey thing? Uh, no, this was before that. Oh, wait a minute. I, just, uh, I used to download those. I dogs. just added him to the group. I'm having trouble getting Bree on here. Hey, but there we go. There we go. Do you have any of those podcasts, still, uh, Alex? Uh, do I have them? No, I don't, actually. I never yeah. thought about saving them. Um, and Bree's whirling around there. But there he is. There he is, yeah. folks. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we now have, we're one short of a full house on this, uh, this new thing we've been doing here, which is pretty cool. I'm, I, however, I'm going to have to take that gabnet logo off of there because it's uh it's uh uh taking up too much room uh, now uh is brie on camera oh i know why the problem uh, that's the problem okay now i can do it again uh is, is brie got his cam yeah i guess he does yeah. uh, because our theory was that uh more than eight you weren't going to get a video but it looks like if brie is on camera yeah uh, I this is nine so it's working uh yeah yeah, so anyway, I can now put that on there, and there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, we have, uh, we have. Uh, let's see here, we have nine, and I think it was ten we were worried about. Was it nine that we were worried about? Uh, I think eight. Eight. It was, yeah. Okay, well, you know, it's working fine. So this, is, uh, this solved the whole problem. Uh, plus, we have the names of all the people under them, and it's, uh, it's very good. I'm happy because it looks good and it feels good. What is that, Bree? Uh, That's like the new viral sensation. The viral. Can you see? Can you see the animal? No. No. Oh wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, well, wait a minute. Uh, it's like a shadow. <clears throat> wait a yeah. minute. Do you remember uh, the uh, the dress? The, whether it was gold or yeah. blue. This is going to be the next one. You'll, you'll read about it tomorrow well, there. The wait space. a minute. There's an animal in there. Hold that up again. Re remember, we are a, uh, sort of a day ahead of you. Here, it is Thursday morning, right? Yeah. So I'll tell you the lottery numbers later if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I thought the viral sensation was this brown egg. Now, what are yeah, we supposed to also... what are we supposed to see in there? All I see are stripes. Yeah. No, oh, you can't see the, uh, it's like a cat. There's or... an egg in the middle. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, oh, I, yeah, I see it. Line of a, some sort of animal. Looks like a cat. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think part of the problem is it's mooring oh, okay. a little bit. I oh. see the ears. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me make this big. Look at that, folks. Let's do it that way. Let's see here. Uh, I can't see it. I see a little dip in some stuff there, but I yeah. I don't I don't see. Yeah, it. that's the ears. The yeah. head, top of the head between the ears. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. You know, there's all those uh, little I tests see. that they have on the internet. Like, uh, can you see the one letter that's different than all the other letters? Yeah. The number. <laughs> find the word. Yeah. And you know, I find those things like immediately. I think that they're all bullshit. That uh, you know, uh, that everybody. You're mining your data. Yeah. Yeah. All that yeah. stuff is just mining your data. There's a new thing on Facebook, like some kind of ten-year challenge. Yeah. That's mining yeah. your. Whoops. That's mining your data. 
Oh, really? oh okay. Uh, so yeah. how, what are these new ways to get new oh, ways so to when get your data? So when you're looking at that particular uh, challenge, uh, it's it's taking your data from your phone. Yeah, it's getting all the information. Oh, oh, well, also the ice things and seeing the little number or letter. <laughs> <laughs> The idea is is that um, you're helping them develop their facial recognition when when and they can ch check aging over a ten year period. Uh, wow! Yeah, okay. and they don't have to go fishing for the photo because you do it for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, and, um, how's the, how's the weather over there in uh, in Dubai? Oh, it's excellent weather. Just perfect every day. It's just wonderful. Well, I mean, what? No humidity. What, uh, uh, no humidity. No. Come no on. Humidity. You're kidding. We we have uh, our low uh, today will be 66 and our high is 83, and so it's like that every day. It's just perfect weather. Oh, nice we just breeze. lost Ray. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, in the Bay Area, it's they're storming. Uh, it, it's really uh, heavy winds and. Uh, it, it's like a monsoon, and uh, you know here I am uh, in D.C. and they had an earthquake the other day uh, about what a, a, a 180 miles off of uh, the the coast of Maryland, and uh, you know this is not earthquake country, but I guess it's becoming. Yes, it is. What do you think happened at the Washington Monument when they went? Well, isn't that a rare occurrence? Aren't they doing no, fracking every No, year? as a matter of fact. Where you do fracking, you're going to have earthquakes. Yeah. 130 or 180 miles out into the ocean? Yeah, sure. Sure. I mean, do you know there is a fault going through Central Park here in New York City? Yes. And oca yep. occasionally it's been known to uh, uh, Is that kind Trump's of fault? Everything else is. <laughs> well, there was that earthquake out in what, Ocean City or whatever it was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Jack. There goes my there goes my golf ball again. I can't seem to. You know, I, I didn't want uh, uh, originally. I was going to get together with Rob, and uh, you know, I thought that there, it was going to snow and that there was going to be a blizzard here, mm -hmm. and I uh, didn't want you to drive in, in in the blizzard conditions. And I get here, and the and the weather's nice, and there's some snow on the ground. Uh, but, uh, you know, and then I guess this weekend it's, uh, it's Good, coming. Yeah. I was thinking about going to New York this weekend to see my mom, but there all the way up and down the East coast, I think is going to be pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it, there's supposed to be a big snow this weekend, I think. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Starting Saturday into Sunday. Yeah. Um, uh, Why does Netflix have to raise their prices? Yes. Again? Oh, that's uh, that's know, the oh, news. Fourteen bucks or something. You know, no, the no. thing about it is, I like Netflix. I like that they have a, they have too much. They debut everything all the time. I can't keep up with it. There's no way they need to slow down. Uh, you're quite and right. Not raise the rates. You know what? Uh, in case people are not aware. Uh, like, for instance, I pay $14 a month to get their high-def channels, their uh, be 4K channels. No, they're not doubling it. I thought I'm paying no. $7.99. My, my 14 like is going to go up to 16 uh, And I pay I pay 12 I bucks for Hulu, but I pay uh, 12 bucks for Hulu without commercials. I thought okay. they said Netflix was going to 14 bucks. They're going to 14 bucks. Uh, for 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 the lower tier, for if you have the uh, service where you get 4K like I do, and I think yeah. you can run it on something like four machines at the same time, uh, it's going to be 16 bucks. Well, I, I'm paying eight bucks or seven something, and and so well, mine's the, supposed to go to 14. Right? No, no, the eight the eight buck one is going to nine bucks. Oh, yeah, but the uh, 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 as I this say, Trump's fault. I have the fourteen. Yeah. I have the fourteen buck one, and it's going up to uh, it's going up to sixteen. He's like all Trump's fault. fault. Well, Trump you know, I'll tell place. you something. It was a bargain at, at, at when it when it first started. What did we pay? Seven fifty, maybe Six, less. Yeah, seven ninety, seven ninety five, something like that. You know, and it was kind of worth it then. You know, but I'm beginning to wonder if it. You know, 
uh, at fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars a month, if it's worth it, yeah, I'm getting tons of uh, Netflix originals. They're putting the name Netflix originals on on everything. You remember uh, when you had to mail the DVDs back and forth? Oh, I still do that. <laughs> really? You know, they still yeah, they offer that, that service. service. They still offer that service because they tried yeah. to quit it. They tried to stop it, and people uh, c complained. But they also don't – Netflix doesn't have a lot of movies on the streaming. Yeah. It's more about series series yeah. and, t and television. The movies, yeah, the movies no, you got to get the discs. you got to yeah. get the discs. They couldn't get the streaming rights, I don't think. Yeah, uh, but uh, the 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 fact of the matter is that uh, they're uh, you know they say Netflix originals on everything. It's like in other countries where they have Netflix and they do like French series and French stuff, they do Netflix originals. Do you know, you know the show uh, Star uh, Star Trek Discovery, which is on CBS All Access, which yeah, by the yeah. way starts again tomorrow night. No, not here. Here it is a Netflix original. I was about ready to say that. Everywhere else, <laughs> it's a Netflix original. You know the show Riverdale here, which is on the uh, on, on the W CW. on the uh, CW. Uh, everywhere else in the world, it's a Netflix original, but it's not a Netflix original. It's produced by by CBS and uh, uh, I think uh, CW is Warner Brothers and CBS. Great. So, so, how do you get the uh, Netflix original from France? You use your VPN, or is I, there a I, I could, I suppose, but I don't. I, you know, why should I? You know, uh, I get all these shows anyway. So, oh. you know, but I mean, it, it, what I'm saying is, they call things Netflix originals that they never had anything to do with. They mm. probably just paid yeah. some money for them, and so they could put their their well. name on it. Trump's and that's the other thing. What, what they've done is they are, uh, you know, cornering the market, so to speak. They're they're getting the rights to things mm -hmm. because they realize that, you know, all the companies could just come out and just have their own platforms. And then why do you uh, need Netflix? Well, this that's you know, starting this, to happen Disney, because they're losing yeah. Disney stuff. They're losing uh, all uh, Disney stuff, like all the Marvel stuff, because Disney is starting their own channel. Right. Uh, now yeah. DC DC already has their own channel, which, by the way, is very good. But still, by the time you're through, you're going to wind up paying more money for these things individually than you ever yeah. were going to pay for them. Absolutely, you know, it, it, absolutely. Hey, all you guys were so worried about net neutrality and that guy Pi Anjit Pi. Uh, how does it has it affected anything yet? Well, well uh, uh, to begin with, to begin with, net neutrality yeah, yeah. has been uh, the uh, the rescinding process. the rescinding look of net neutrality. Act of 1996, 97. No, but I think the, wait a minute. I, I believe to to kill wait a minute. Hold on a second. I believe the rescinding of uh, of uh, 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 what do you call net California. neutrality uh, was uh, was it was shot down by a court. Yeah, it's tied yeah. up in courts. So I mean, we haven't been like able to find out Trump what the what the result of that is going to be, but I I I hope and pray that it wins. You know and that we don't have to put up with that. We still can have net neutrality. Uh, you know, I mean, why are we giving away the store to all these companies? You know, well, I guess because Trump is president and he wants to give away everything to the to the corporations. Yeah. It's like in the last 40 years, why have we given away the store to all these other countries as well? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, that's what Trump says. <laughs> well, rhetoric wise, he and I are in agreement. Yes. Rhetoric wise. Rhetoric but wise, but not in actual practice. not in actuality, Phil, because he's giving away the store. Mm hmm. I mean, look well, at what he's done to our to our natural resources. He get, he's giving away the story. But I don't want to get into that now. We got twenty seconds before I roll the theme. You know, or well, the dice. Yeah. The only thing that this net that, that, that this uh, Skype doesn't have, and none of them have ever had, is the ability to turn off one feed, sound wise. Then I could shut Phil up whenever I wanted. I to. told you. Remember when I muted Jeff by accident? But I was testing that out. Yeah. You can't. You can mute people on the new Skype. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen. There's the theme. I got to tell you, the picture has looked terrific. In fact, I like this configuration better than the one that I had. So it only proves to me that Skype has got gotten worse and worse and worse and worse.
It'll be fill free tomorrow uh, unless I can get an internet connection on the plane. Yeah, in which case we can uh, hear see you from the plane, which would be a yeah. lot of fun. That would be. A lot I don't know if I talk because if I talk, I might disturb the other people. Hey, that's th- going to piss a lot of people off. You can off. use the chat. Okay. Well, anyway. well, let's thank everybody. Let's thank Phil Stein, uh, Jeff Stein. <laughs> Let's thank Phil Meyer. <laughs> Let's thank Scott Boddicker. Let's thank Rob Alfano. Let's uh, thank Ray Wallace and Charles Renati. And uh, uh, Brian Br- uh, uh, Bree uh, and D. Ludwig, whatever. Hey, everybody, why don't you do me a favor and wave a big goodbye to all the folks out there watching us, okay? That's them saying goodbye. See you later, guys. And that's it for tonight. Wow. Well, it works, folks. We're not out of business. How about that? Okay. How does that make you feel? Okay. Oh, wow. That was terrific. I'm so happy after what happened last night after that clusterfuck. I wanted to, I wanted to kill myself at the end of the show last night. Going, on. that's it for the citizen panels. But we found a way around it. Fuck Skype. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for tonight. We'll be back again tomorrow night. We'll be here right after. Well, the intersection is next with Jack Bishop. We'll be here after Damian Chaplin goes on at 9:30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll be on at uh, 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Bye! Bye.